Bloody Mary Podcast! Welcome to the Bloody Mary Podcast, where we talk about all things horror while drinking a Bloody Mary. I'm Jesse. And I'm Tammy. And we are totally married. Mm. We got our Bloody Marys, and tonight we are reviewing It's a Wonderful, Wonderful Knife. Knife. Um, non spoilers, then we'll get into spoilers. We'll let you know, timestamp below. And. Uh, we got merchandise and an Amazon wish list. Yeah, Christmas we do. is just around the corner. And you know, we like gifts too. <laughs> Be our Santa. Yeah. And, <laughs> and go to Amazon, our Amazon wish list, and get, get us some stuff. Uh, well, if you do, we'll bring it on the show and uh, give, give you, you a, a shout, shout out. out. Or if you want to remain anonymous, that's totally cool too. Um, we could use some more tiki mugs. There's a couple of horror characters on there that are fun. Uh, there's an on-air sign on there that would be really cool to have on the show. Yeah. Smaller things like Bloody Mary mixes, bigger things like expensive gear and equipment to make the show look and sound better. Um, but yeah, if you're feeling generous this holiday season, help out a little lonely podcast, <laughs> sir. Please. <laughs> <laughs> www.bloodymarypodcast.com. Yeah, we also have merch on our store that yep. you can give people for gifts. Yeah, shirts and shit. Shirts and shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got shirts and shit over there. But really, the other stuff is worth that. Okay, anyways, um, It's a Wonderful Knife. Yes. Uh, a new holiday film uh, streaming on Shudder. Uh, we just watched it not too long ago. I think right when it first came out, we're just getting around to doing a podcast now on it. Uh, but what did you think of It's a Wonderful Knife? Like, I had a lot of fun. It yeah. was a fun movie. I thought it was a fun, cute holiday slasher. It is. Um, uh, so Wonderful Knife is, uh, after saving her town from a psychotic killer, Winnie Carruthers' life is less than wonderful. When she wish wishes she'd never been born, she finds herself in a nightmare parallel universe where without her, things could be much more worse. It's, it's a... It's a slasher based on it's a wonderful life yep and this is like kind of this has been popular lately where you have uh it started kind of back with happy death day was mm -hmm. groundhog, groundhog day, day but a slasher you have freaky which is freaky friday freaky friday but a slasher yeah we had we recently this year also just had totally killer which is back to the future mm -hmm. but a slasher and now we have it's a wonderful knife it's a wonderful life um so what do you think of uh, do you want this type of thing to keep going? I do. Going? I think it's a lot of fun. Do you, do you have fun with that? I do have fun with it because yeah. they're generally, you know, they're horror comedies. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of fun. You know, they have the little Easter eggs and stuff yeah. of the movies that they're, you know, based off of. Yeah. I think it's fun to make fun classic movies into fun classic horror yeah. movies. Well, I think they've even done Breakfast Club. I, uh, Hulu had an original film. It was like the Breakfast Club, but it was uh, a slasher too. Like it came out like four years school ago. School Spirit? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, uh, directed by Tyler Mc McClintyre. Um, don't, I'm probably messing up his last name, but I have a six degrees of Kevin Bacon with the guy. Oh, yeah? So, um, kind of. So, a few years ago, I was, uh, you know, I was hosting a, a film panel. Mm hmm. With the Spokane Film Project, and uh, it was around the time of COVID, and then I had a, I was, a, there was a costume designer, and oh. there was a makeup artist. Yeah, and the, yeah. And the costume designer, Dakota Keller, has worked with, with, with this director before on uh, the previous film. It was, um, God, what was it called? Oh, The Tragedy Girls. Uh, she was a costume designer on his, that, and then I think something else. But I don't believe she was the costume designer on, on this one. On this one. Uh, so connect the dots. I worked with the costume designer for one of his films. That's awesome. Not worked with, hosted a panel. Did a little thing. <laughs> did a little ditty. Yeah, yeah. Um, Do you like the trend of, you know? Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I think it's, I have fun with all of those movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Some more than others, but yeah, I, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. I think too, because like, aside from this one, all those were 80s films and mm -hmm. we're 80s babies. We are, And we yeah. love those movies. So to see them with modern actors and slasher, mm -hmm. I mean, slashify, uh, you know, that mm -hmm. stuff is a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. Yeah. And what did you think of this? Did you enjoy it? I did. I think it was fun. It's not the best thing. It's not the worst thing. Either. Yeah, it was just a fun. Um, yeah, there's Justin Long, Joe McHale, uh, Catherine Isabel. Uh, she was uh, Ginger Snaps, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was really funny every time <laughs> she said Judy because <laughs> she was 
<laughs> like she was always uh, her sister, and she's like, "God damn it, Judy or Sylvia, <laughs> Judy." Uh, yeah, sounds like my my dad yelling at my mom. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Judy. Um, yeah, uh, the leads I think were electric on the screen. Uh, the 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 two main girls, mm-hmm. uh, Winnie by, and Bernie, Jane Whitup and Jess McLeod. Uh, they were really good. I want to s- follow their careers, and hopefully, they do more horror. Mm-hmm. Um, the, our our lead actress, I think, she held it really well. She did. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And what th- this movie did really well was all of the characters and the banter was super fun. It was, yeah. Um, the I, aunt I, was I, so I, funny. <laughs> I think he directs his actors really well, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, and th- you can tell they have a lot of fun with the lines. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was a little. Both Justin Long and Joe McHale's characters are both weird. They are, and like the odd choices that they made, kind of like picking those roles and also playing those characters. Justin Long's so, is just creepy. So that was like yeah. one thing that could be like a negative. Be like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> but also, I feel like they had fun doing it. Yeah, that too. Like you know, for sure. So they're like, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think. I think for the most part, it's just a lot of fun. It's a quick movie. If I have some negatives to say, I think the third act for me got kind of weird. Like, um, well, first off, like before, you know, she goes, she changes everything. It was a kind of a hard pill to swallow that like, it seemed like everybody in her life hated her and dismissed her, even though she like saved the town. Right. And I thought that was a little like every single person just doesn't like this this this, this lady. Right. It was a little strange. They were but just I like, get it. I get oh, it. We, oh, the the brother. Yeah. Yeah. Or like the entire family just completely ignoring everything that happened and just all bubbly and stuff. And it comes around at the end a little bit, but they 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 sold that a little hard. They did because I was like I, nobody I, cares about her. I'm watching, going, uh, oh wait, spoilers. I guess a little bit coming because she like saves the day yeah and then a year later and she's like had to kill someone yeah. and her friends died and the rest of ever the whole town and their family are just like da, da, da. Yeah. we got truck it's christmas yeah, oh my yeah. god come on get in the christmas spirit put on your velour truck suit come on come on and she's like what the fuck <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> like, so I, I thought that was like if there's a negative and i get it you're kind of making fun of everything but that was a little a little difficult to take but whatever, you just shake that off and you just enjoy the movie. And then the third act, it just got weird with like, at the end, okay, uh, spoiler here. Spoiler. Kind of. <laughs> spoiler, sorry. Okay, we're going to get into spoilers now because <laughs> I'm about to talk. But when like the entire town folk was like, they were zombified. Oh, like drones. And, and, yeah. And and I know he someone said, oh, I want you want to turn the town into drones. And um, But to- I couldn't tell if he actually did or if he had some kind of evil power that was possessing him or like why that was happening to me or if I it thought, was like a, a magical aura thing I, to me i thought it was because when she made that wish under the aurora borealis which wasn't really supposed to be in their town yeah that little magic moment um that sort of magic kind of carried over sorry i was trying to work (laughs) carried over into that and so that kind of uh helped him be the one that yeah but the fact that we have to talk about it like this yeah and it's not just a a simple like explanation yeah Yeah. that that's it got that that whole got a little convoluted and like oh what's happening okay whatever it's just you know this is a silly film just just go right Um, um and i did like that they you know it wasn't just her going back to know that she is worth something in every if in people's lives if she wasn't around it was really also to save bernie because yeah. she was going to kill herself that year yeah uh, because she just couldn't take life anymore it, it was to save yeah to save her to give her confidence and also to bang her yeah well, yeah all, <laughs> all of the above yeah um so so that was fun um yeah, the slasher part is actually just kind of in the background on this. It is, yeah. Like, it's it not starts, like... It, your your intro kind of starts with the slasher. Mm-hmm. And then it's really like the slasher aspect is muted off in the background. And then you just kind of have this personal journey going through the town kind of thing mm-hmm. with slasher elements here and there. Yeah. yeah. I did like the the uh, the angel killer 
with the like the the, the look was good. The yeah. look was cool. The all the all white angel tree topper mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. yeah, I liked that costume. I thought that was really cool. I know. I was expecting like I think we're watching it. I'm like because they have that big town tree. I'm like, oh, I bet you anything the big like dead body reveal because they have like dead body reveals in slasher. It's not in this, but was was gonna be like decorations on the christmas tree which would be really <laughs> fucking cool so we're just gonna shelve that idea for another movie that's ours down the road <laughs> yes exactly i do want to make a christmas uh, horror at some point you do um, it's I, on the I, list. I do have some ideas but we got two scripts to two feature scripts that we're working on uh we'll, yeah we'll reveal more details when the time comes on both those projects um they're both a lot of fun. They're both a lot of work. Yeah. Take a little longer than, than we thought, but they'll be worth it at the end. Some really fun things coming in yeah. 2024. Um, but yeah, sidetrack there. Uh, so <laughs> what, what would you rate It's a Wonderful Knife? You know, I'm going to say a seven just because it was fun. They had some really good, funny lines. Yeah. The banter was great. Like you said, the the two main girls were really great on screen. Mm. Um, it was just fun. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, I was going to say five, but... The the two the actors the main actress and that other they really kind of elevated up a bit so mm-hmm. I think good six I think yeah. it's slightly above average I think if you really I think this holiday if you're looking for a just a fun quick yeah horror check movie, it out just watch it on Shutter yeah, yeah check definitely. it out it's a lot of fun yeah. I, I I really enjoy when we get like Christmas horror so yeah. that I can be like oh let's watch Christmas movies and that's the yeah. Christmas movies I get to watch <laughs> I, I, th- I think there's another one in the same vein of this this trend coming out soon A Miracle on 34th Street I think is coming out oh really I, I, I'd have to double check but I'm pretty oh. sure I saw that somewhere Interesting. yeah but cool all right well yeah I mean what do you guys think of It's a Wonderful Knife uh, like it not like it uh, what do you think about this trend of turning like other movies in the slashers yeah let us know and and then is there a movie that you want to see turn into a slasher oh you know that's a good one to, to ponder before we go what, what do you think uh i mean <laughs> clueless <laughs> clueless <laughs> <laughs> a, I, I mean, that's clueless. like almost every modern like, day slasher. Oh my anyways. god! <laughs> yeah. F. Did he just stick that knife into me? Like I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Footloose. Footloose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I'm gonna do. And we'll get Gavin Bacon to be in it in some capacity for sure. He'll be the killer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what would that plot be? Just move move to this town, and all he wants to do is. Lop off feet. <laughs> yeah, slash. I don't know. <laughs> all he wants to do is dance, and people just keep all he wants to do. Yeah, yeah all slasher, he wants to do is dance. Uh, yeah, or maybe at at a big school dance. Oh, you know what you could do is like your 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 intro. The whole like whatever happened in the past is these two people were doing a game of chicken. Yeah, and then one person died. I don't know. Yeah, mm, Footloose. Well, mm. yeah, well, because what was the original uh, thing of Footloose was someone did die. It was during prom, yeah. and they had some drinks. Yeah, and then they got in a car and drove, and they died. Yeah, and so you just changed that to it was a slasher. Yeah, then the minister is like, "You can't dance because the killer will come." <laughs> yeah, killer will come if you <laughs> dance and listen to music and <laughs> and fornicate and do all those things. <laughs> So it's like quietly trying to dance and all of a sudden. <laughs> Anyways, okay. And he lops off a foot every time. Yeah. <laughs> collects it as a trophy. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, our Bloody Marys yeah. are dead. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> Drink in moderation. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.